Everything we've done up to this point has been in text. There's nothing wrong with text, but it would be nice to be able to draw graphics. We're going to use Python's turtle graphics to do our drawings. Imagine a robotic turtle with a pen in its belly that you can drive around on a piece of paper and it draws lines as it moves. Instead of needing a physical device, turtle graphics let us draw the lines on the screen. By the way, these turtle graphics are based on the logo language developed at MIT by Wally Feuerzeug, Seymour Papert, and Cynthia Solomon. I'm going to do most of my experimenting with turtle graphics in the shell. The first thing we have to do is import the turtle module or library. The next step is to create a window for the turtle to inhabit. So I'll have the variable window refer to the screen method inside the turtle library and that will create a window for us. I'll move that to the side so we can see both of them at the same time. And the next step is to create a new turtle object. The book uses personal names like Alex and Tess to refer to the turtles. If you'd like to name your turtle after yourself or your best friend, feel free to do so. However, that's really not my style, so I'm just going to use the letter T to refer to a turtle object that's a capital T turtle on the function name from the small t turtle library. And as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, there's the turtle, that little marker. It's facing to the east right now. You can now give commands to the turtle object to say, make it move forward 150 pixels. t.forward150 and as it moves it draws a line. You can also read this from right to left. It says call the forward method that belongs to turtle t. You can make the turtle turn left or right. Let's go left 90 degrees. Unlike sine and cosine which require radians, the turtle is more ordinary person friendly and uses degrees so I can say t dot left 90 and you'll see that the turtle is now facing upwards to the north. Let's go forward 100 pixels. And then right 45 degrees. And then forward another 50 pixels. And this time I'm going to abbreviate forward as FD to save myself a little bit of typing. You can use LT or left to turn left and right or RT as an abbreviation to turn right. To go backwards, you can use any of three different abbreviations. I can use the full word backward or I can use back or I can just use BK. And let's complete a simple design here by turning left 135 degrees and going forward another 50 pixels. There are plenty of other things you can tell the turtle to do. To erase everything the turtle has drawn so far and return it to its original position, use the reset method. T dot reset. In order to preserve room for my subtitles, I'm going to clear the shell now as well. You can change the color of the pen using the color method. So let's use the word green, and the green has to be in quote marks. And you'll see that the turtle marker has turned green. The video description has a link to the list of all the color names that you can use. The color change is more apparent when we go forward. 
and you can change the background color of the entire window with the BG color method. So I can tell my window background color to be bisque, which is sort of a nice peach brownish color. I can make the pen width thicker by using pen size. So let's make the pen three pixels wide instead of one. And you'll see the difference when I move forward. And I can change the shape of the turtle to look like a turtle by using the shape method and putting the string turtle as the argument. A complete, as in more than you ever wanted to know, list of the methods for the turtle and window are at the link that's shown in the video description. Here's a complete program that draws a square. It sets up the turtle on lines 1 through 9 by importing the turtle library, creating a window to draw into, creating a turtle, setting the window background color, and then the color, shape, and size of the turtle itself. And on line 9, here's a new function, speed. If you give it a 0, the turtle draws as quickly as possible. On lines 12 through 19, I draw a square by moving 150 pixels and turning left 90 degrees and doing that four times in a row. And at the end, I hide the turtle which leaves the square all by itself. Let's run the program and see what it looks like. And voila, there's the square. At this point, I suggest you just pause the video and go wild and draw anything you like from the shell. Then, try expanding the square program to draw a house by drawing a triangular roof up at the top. I've written that program, and here's what it looks like when it runs. This is without the fastest possible speed. So give it a try and start familiarizing yourself with Turtle Graphics in Python.